Reality shows generally have a recipe that increases the odds of a hookup, put men and women alone in house, take away anything they could possibly do to entertain themselves, no TV, no internet, no magazines, and get them in as little clothing as possible, usually with the help of a hot tub. Naked and afraid might not have the hot tub, but they're already three steps ahead of most reality shows, contestants are already bored, naked, and totally alone. You'd think it's perfect setting for a quick hookup, but being ultra malnourished and utterly exhausted is a mood killer. There's no real rule about hooking up, but it doesn't typically happen. What the f is happening? The last thing you really want to think about when you're dirty, hungry, possibly covered with bug bites and miserable is to have sex in the grass or the mud. There's been talk and many questions about contestants hooking up, but most of them have said that this is just not where the mind goes when you're sleeping out in the wild. Speaking with people, Naked and Afraid XL contestants Alyssa Ballestero and Stacey Leosario admitted that while they might get dirty, absolutely no one is getting down in the wilderness. That's the biggest question I get, Balestro said, that's not what happens out there. Everyone is dirty and tired, it doesn't really happen. Asario agreed, admitting, you have no libido out there at all. I was like, this is happening, we're snuggling, and he felt uncomfortable and I could tell. <laughs> so we're gonna try to lay sideways. Balestro also revealed that people repeatedly asked her fiancé if he was worried that she'd cheat. His fears were limited, and not just because cheating on national television where you're undoubtedly going to get caught is unilaterally a bad call. He knows that it's not that type of situation, she told People, adding he always tells them that he's more worried that I am safe and healthy. So what are your thoughts about this show? Let us know in the comment section.